Hey, what's up everybody? Guinea Piggy's Designs here and today I'm going to be doing a Cuddle Cup tutorial. So for those of you who are new, my name is Brittany. I basically sew things for your small animals and I do other random stuff. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sew this cuddle cup. So real quick note, um, when I first started to learn how to make these, these were really complicated for me, but I mean, this is another one. It's, it's really simple, it's really easy. The only hard part about this tutorial is if you're using a lot of layers, it's kind of difficult. But I mean, otherwise, if you're using thin layers, this is a really easy, tutorial. So anyways, if you guys want to see how I made this cuddle cup, go ahead and keep on watching. For the first step of the tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to cut out our shapes. Here I have a long piece here and I have a circle. This long piece here, which measures 36 and a half inches long and then it measures six inches wide and my circle measures 13 inches in diameter so these are the two pieces I used to cut out my cuddle cup so what I first like to do is cut out the u-haul for the u-haul um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna make two removable pads with this pattern so I'm gonna cut out six circles of the u-haul so each pad is gonna be lined with two layers of u-haul and then the actual cuddle cup is going to be lined with two layers of u-haul too. So I'm going to cut out six. And I like to line my items with this bamboo batting which comes in a roll. It's double layered. So I want to cut out six of these but since it's double layered I'm going to cut out three. And I'm going to pull out my batting. This is a high loft batting I'll have it linked down below and what I'm gonna do here is cut out one circle of this one all right so I got my circle and this is gonna be for the bottom of the cuddle cup all right and then since I have this batting out I'm gonna cut out one of the strips for the cuddle cup now I have a different kind of batting I line my cuddle cups with. This one is also a high loft batting, but it's not as thick as this one. This one's really soft and squishy. This one is more like light. So I'm gonna cut out a circle of this one. So now the last step of the cutting is to cut out the fleece. Today I'm gonna be using this super cute ice cream blizzard fleece along with this blue anti-peel fleece. I'm gonna cut out one strip of this one and then three circles of this. All right, now I'm gonna repeat that same step, but we're gonna cut out the solid color. I'm gonna cut out one strip of the blue. All right, and I'm gonna cut out three circles. These are gonna be all the pieces you're gonna need to sew your cuddle cup. So just a quick review. The solid color, we have three circles, one strip, and then your print, we have three circles, one strip, and then for the bamboo batting, we have six circles, and then for the U-Haul, we have six circles, and then for the actual like batting, we have one circle of the high loft, one strip of the high loft, and then we have one circle of the lower loft batting, and then one strip of the lower loft batting. All right, so now we are going to prepare our cuddle cup for sewing. So what I like to do first is set up the potty pads. So I'll show you how I do that. So to set up your potty pads, I'm gonna be making two. For the first one, what you're gonna do is lay down your U-Haul and then lay down your bamboo batting. And then you wanna lay down your solid color with the good side facing you. This is the bad side and then this is the good side. So so I want that to be facing me. And then I'm gonna lay down my solid color and I wanna make sure the bad side is facing me. This is the good side and then this is the bad side. So I'm gonna lay that down. And you wanna make sure that it's flat. And then we're going to lay down our bamboo batting and then our U-Haul. What you could do next is clip around it so it stays together while you sew. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same step but to the second pad. And what I do like to do first is sew the pads first, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue prepping the actual cuddle cup for sewing. And then once I get done with that, I'm gonna sew the pads and then we'll work on the cuddle cup. So let's go ahead and prep the cuddle cup for sewing. The next step, what I like to do is set up the bottom of the cuddle cup. So this is gonna be on the inside of the cuddle cup, if that makes sense. So I lay down one layer of U-Haul and then I lay down two layers of bamboo batting and then my solid color, I'm gonna put on top of that. And you wanna make sure the good side is facing 
in you. So again, this is gonna be the inside of the cuddle cup. And then uh, what you could do next is clip all the way around it so it stays together. The next step, I'm gonna work on the, the outside of the cuddle cup for the bottom. So what I like to do is lay down the U-Haul and I'm laying down my lower loft batting. And then I'm gonna lay down my higher loft batting. You see it's nice and squishy. And then I'm gonna lay down my pattern. Now this, you wanna make sure that the good side of the fleece is facing you. So this is the bad side and then this is my good side. Right, and then I'm gonna go and clip this together. So now the bottom is ready for sewing. All right, now we're gonna work on the actual sides of the cuddle cup. For that, what you wanna do is lay down your solid color with the bad side facing you. Make sure it's nice and flat. Next, I'm gonna put my high loft batting on top of that. And then we're gonna add our low loft batting on top of that. And we're gonna put our patterned fleece on top of that. And you wanna make sure the good side is facing you. All right, so now I'm gonna clip it and a uh, really quick note, I do not clip all the layers. I clip the patterned fleece and the batting. I do not clip this bottom piece. So leave the bottom piece down here alone. Do not clip the bottom piece. So what I like to do, I don't clip all around it yet. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna clip the sides here. What I do is I put five clips up here and five clips down here on both sides, just so it's easier to figure out where the center is. And then now what I'm gonna do is cut a half circle at the top here. So I'm gonna cut a half circle in the center and this is gonna be the opening. I just cut out this and I just eyeball it. If you want, you can always try to draw a line that you could trace if it makes it easier. Also, my opening is five inches, so I just kinda cut out a five inch I'm going to continue to clip now, or clip the remaining. So you see how I didn't clip the bottom? You don't, you don't want to clip the bottom here. I'm going to fold this in half. This is ready to sew. And then this one, just pick it up, fold it in half. And you want to make sure the two good sides on the inside are touching each other. That's how it should be set up for sewing. So we're going to sew a straight line there. All right, and then pretty much how you prep everything for sewing. So the next step, what I'm gonna do is show you how I sew the potty pads, and then we're gonna go and work on the actual cuddle cup. Okay, so here I have my potty pad. So what I'm gonna do is, it's just like sewing regular pads, but the only difference is you're going in a circle. So we're still gonna leave like a hole right here. So I start here and I sew all the way around and I stop. I don't sew all the way around it, but I kind of leave a hole if that makes sense. I'm gonna show you how I sew around it. So what I do is I line up my edge here to this black thing. And then when I start out, I like to do a forward and a backward stitch to enforce it. All you're gonna do now is kind of churn your fabric or churn your piece and try to follow the edge of the circle. Try to go around like this, just lining your edge up to your seam allowance. All right, and when I end, I do a back and forth stitch to again enforce it. And this is how it should look when you sew all around it. So I left about a two inch hole so we could pull it right side out when the time comes. So now I'm gonna repeat this same exact step, but to the second pad. So I went ahead and I sewed around both of the pads here. So our next step is we're gonna take some scissors and we're gonna trim all around the edges. I trimmed around both of these. So now what we're gonna do with the potty pads is we're going to turn them right side out. So now we're gonna find our hole and then we're gonna find this, the center of the pad. So I'm grabbing one layer of U-Haul, one layer of batting, and then one layer of fleece on one side and then one layer of U-Haul, one layer of batting, one, one layer of fleece on the other side. So that's where you wanna stick your hand in. So I'm gonna stick my hand in and just try to grab the opposite side of the pad and pull it right side out. So it's gonna look kind of distorted. So now what I'm trying to do is push out the edges. You can either go on the inside and push them out or you could try to do it on the outside. And this is how it should look when you turn it right side out. So now I'm gonna repeat this same step but to this second one here. 
So I went ahead and turned them both right side out. So okay. now we still have these holes that we need to close up. And how I do that is I do it by hand. Um, I just take a, a needle and my nylon thread and I do a simple ladder stitch to close up these holes. Now, if you wanna see a detailed version of me closing up the holes, I'll link my potty pad tutorial down below. For this video, to save time, I mean, I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. Anytime I do hand stitching, it's always gonna be the simple ladder stitch. So this is how it looks when you hand sew them up. So when you do it like this, it just looks a lot neater. So now I am going to repeat this step, but to the second one. So here is the second pad I hand sewed. So after we got our holes closed up, our next step is we are going to add the seams around the pads. So now the seams, they just keep all your layers in place. So what I like to do is I like to add a seam all the way around as close to the edge as I can. Now, since the edges are really bulky, I go about an inch out and sew around it like that. And then the second seam, I go two inches in from the edge. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that next. So for the first seam what I like to do is line up the edge of my pad here the edge to this edge of my this black thing right here and that is about an inch away from the seam so you can't really see the black thing I'm following but all I'm doing is as I'm sewing I'm just lining up my edge to the, that black thing as I sew all the way around making sure it's lined up to that that's what you want to do when you sew is just line up your seam allowance to something so you can follow it. So never look at the needle. Always look at the side here or whatever you're lining it up to. And that's gonna help make sure that your line all the way around is even and it's the same you know, distance away from the edge, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna undo that. So when I start, I like to do a back and forth stitch to make sure that it's uh, secure. And then I just start sewing. So this is how your first seam should look. You see how it's even all the way around? And all I did was just follow my seam allowance, which was this black thing. All right, so now I'm gonna add the second seam. So the second seam, I like to line up to the edge of the, my plate, and that equals about two inches, I would say. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I start a little bit more in the middle. So I'm lining my edge up to the edge of this plate, and all I'm doing is, as I sew, I'm making sure this edge is always lined up to the edge of my plate. So this is how it should look when you add both seams. So after you do this, this, this pad is pretty much done. So I'm gonna go and add the two seams into my second pad here. So repeating the same process, but to this pad. Went ahead and sewed around uh, both pads. I added two seams to each one. So now these are finished. So now we're gonna move on to the actual cuddle cup. So I'll go ahead and show you that next. For the actual cuddle cups, what I like to do first is work on the bottom of the cuddle cups. This is gonna be the inside of the cuddle cup. So what I like to do with this is sew all the way around it, do the, an inch inseam. So for this, we're just sewing around it just to keep all the layers together. So here, I'm just following my black piece. So I went ahead and sewed a straight line all the way around, and this is how it should look when you're done. So now I'm going to move on to the second circle. So here's the second circle. This is gonna be the bottom of your cuddle cup. So we're gonna re repeat the same process. We're just gonna sew all the way around just like we did the other one. So I went in and sewed all the way around this one. Now this one, uh, to get rid of some bulk, I try to cut off some of this batting. So I went and trimmed around it just to remove some of the bulk on the edges. So now we're gonna work on the sides of the cuddle cup. So we'll set this aside. So this is gonna be the inside of your cuddle cup, the solid color. So what you're gonna do, you should already have this folded in half, which I showed you how to do before we started sewing. So again, good sides are gonna be on the inside. So the bad side's facing me and it's folded in half. So what I'm gonna do now is sew a straight line down the edge here, leaving a one inch inseam. So I'll go and show you how I do that. And this lining up the edge here to the black thing. I went in, sewed a straight line down. So what I like to do is I like to trim off the excess here. So I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and just cut that off. 
if your edges aren't straight, this would be a good time to straighten them out. Here, how the edge doesn't line up with this edge. So I'm just going to line that up a little bit more. So this is how it should look when you sew the end here. All right, so now we're gonna work on the outside. Here's the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew all around it. So we're just trying to get all the layers to stay together. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. And I'm just lining the edge up to the black thing. So a one inch inseam. sewed all the way around it. It's pretty straightforward. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half, making sure the bad side is facing you. So the good side should be on the inside. So we're just doing like we did to the blue piece, but to the outside piece. So now what we're gonna do is fold it, fold it in half, and you can go and clip it if you want. And then we're just gonna sew a straight line all the way down to keep the sides together. So after I folded it in half, I sewed the edge together, just like we did the blue one. So now I'm going to trim off the excess. So this is how it should look. All right, so now we're going to start attaching our pieces to the bottom. So I'll go ahead and do the blue part first because it's the easiest. So we're gonna grab our blue circle we sewed around and then our blue piece here. We're gonna need some wonder clips. What we're gonna do is line up the edges to the edge of your circle. But you wanna make sure that your opening here is facing outward like this. So when you clip around it, make sure the outside of your opening is facing outwards. So now what I'm gonna do is line up my edge to the edge of my bottom. And I'm gonna start clipping all the way around it to make sure it's in place while I sew. When I clipped it all in place, and you see my opening here is facing outwards. All right, so now what I like to do is flip it, and I like to sew all the way around. So when you do this, you wanna make sure you only sew through the side piece and the bottom piece. You don't wanna sew anything up here. You don't want that to get caught under there or anything. So I'll show you how I do that. What I like to do here is you can try to follow that same stitch all the way around that's already on the bottom, or you can sew a little bit to the left of it. I just, I kinda like to follow that same stitch. And then I stick my hand under it, and my hand under it is making sure that the layers are flat. I'm making sure that none of these pieces are gonna be sewn, only the edge here and this. sewed all around it. So this is how it should look. You see, I didn't sew the top here. It's starting to look like the inside of the girdle cut. So now what I like to do is trim off the excess around. All right, so this is how it should look when you trim around it. So now what we can do is turn it right side out. So this, this piece is pretty much done. So now we're gonna repeat like the same exact process, but to the other one. So with this one, you, you wanna make sure it looks like this when you uh, clip it together. You see the bad side is down there. So this is how you wanna clip it, the bottom all the way around. Now this one might be a little bit harder because you're gonna be going through a lot more layers. So we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start clipping the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna start clipping all the way around it, trying to clip the edges together, just like we did with the blue one. So this is how it should look when you clip it, making sure the opening is outward like this. So now I'm gonna go and flip it over like this and I'm gonna put it under my machine like this and I'm gonna sew all around it just like we did the other one. It's just you're going through more layers this time. Let's go ahead and do that. I like to start at the back of the cuddle cuff. For this one, I do like to sew a little bit to the left of the line just to make sure no seams are shown. All right, so right here, I'm lining up the edge of the foot to the seam on the actual bottom. sewed around it so what I do next is I trim the edges but before I do that I just like to check the other side to make sure it looks good so it looks good all right so now I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim around the edges so this is how it should look when you trim around the edges that's the bottom now this one you want to leave as is. So the next step, now what we're, we are going to do is attach your blue piece to this piece here, to the outside of your cup. Go ahead and do that. So to attach this piece to your outside of your cuddle cup, remember when we turned it right side out, so this is how it should be when you put it in. So what you want to do is make sure the front of your cuddle cup, push it in with the front of this part of your cuddle cup, if that makes sense. You're gonna make sure the bottom is in there. And then what I like to do first is I find the back seam here and you want to line it up to this back seam. So what we're going to do is clip the seams in the back together. 
like so. So I got that clip and now we're gonna clip the front on this side. So I'm lining up the point right here to, to this point right here. And I'm going to clip that together. And then you see how it's like that. So we're gonna continue to clip this side. There's that side clip now. Turn it this way and line up this point with this point here. Now we're gonna clip the front. All right, so this is how it looks clipped. Now we're ready to sew. This is really similar to like sewing a potty pad or a cage liner. So what I like to do is I turn it over like this and I put it in my machine and I sew on this side, on the batting side. I start here, I sew up around the opening and then I turn. I sew all the way around this way. I stop here, I turn and I stop about there. So you wanna leave a hole. So do not sew all the way around it. Leave a hole in the front so we can turn it right side out if that makes sense. So I'll show you how I do that. So I start here and then I do a back and forth stitch. Stop here and then I turn. And I'm sewing a little bit left to, to the seam. I went in and started right here. I sewed all the way around. And then I stopped about right here. So you see how I have a hole. So you wanna make sure you leave a hole. So now before we turn it right side out, I like to clip the corners here. This helps them be more pointed out. So here's a clipped corner here, and then that one's not clipped yet. Now, I don't clip around here just because I like the edges here to be poofy, I guess. So this is how it should look before you turn it right side out. All right, so the next step is we're gonna turn it right side out. So to do that, grab one layer, which is your solid color, and then your other layer. So you're just grabbing the most middle layer. So I got my pattern fleece on this side, my solid color on that side. So now I'm gonna stick my hand in and I like to grab the back and bottom of the cuddle cup first. And I like to pull that right side out. When you turn it right side out, it's gonna look kind of distorted. So now we are going to shape it out. What I'd like to do first is shape out the bottom. Just so I stick my hand in the hole and I just start pushing out the bottom. And then what I like to do next is push out the corners. Bottom back in and I just start shaping it. All right, so we got a couple more steps left. Still have this hole and probably guessed it. I like to hand sew up the hole. All right, so now I'm going to hand sew up this hole and I'm going to be doing the standard ladder stitch. So what I do is, you see this seam here? I just hand sew and I just follow that seam all the way around. how it looks when I hand sew it up. If you want, this could be your finished product, but the last step, what I like to do now is add a seam all the way around the cuddle cup just to keep your edges from rolling. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. So I sew on the inside of the cuddle cup. I start at the opening and I go around and I sew all the way around. I just like to do the opening part first just to get that out of the way. Starting at one corner of the opening. I'm sorry if this is hard to see. That's basically what the seam looks like when you sew all the way around it. And after you do that, it's pretty much done. So here is the finished cuddle cup. And if you guys like this tutorial, go ahead and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you do decide to recreate this, uh, go ahead and message me on Instagram or Facebook if you want me to see how you made it so you can get my feedback. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what tutorial you want to see next. And the comment with the most likes or the most commented about would be the next tutorial I do. I'll have my Etsy and my website linked down below. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay.